Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to talk about working, you know, from home. Some of the positives and some of the negatives. Um, you're hearing a lot about it lately in the news where some people are saying, hey, you know what, we need people to come back to work, come back to the office uh, and work at the office versus working from home. Um, now, you as a person, as an individual, I mean, we were seeing more of people working from home nowadays because of the fact during COVID, um, people, a lot of blue collar workers and white collar workers in the office space could do a lot of things remotely. So they were able to work remotely at that point. And I mean, a lot of things came out as a result of it. Um, like here are some of the positives basically, like, you know, working from home. Um, you had increased productivity. Some people, some companies weren't seeing that there was increased productivity uh, and it actually shows, there were studies shown that employees who work from home are often more productive than those who work in an office. Um, this is because they're able to work in a distraction-free environment and they're able to set their own hours, which is pretty good. Uh, it also reduces a little bit of stress. I mean, because sometimes working from home, you don't have to worry about um, the commute into the office, whether it be by car or public transportation. Um, you don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about a crowded public transit system. Uh, also, at the same time, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, being late to the office or missing a meeting while going through the office. Um, it, it, it helps in that aspect as well, too, from that perspective. Uh, and then, of course, then there's the aspect of like the work-life balance. Um, it can help improve it, you know, where Sometimes employees, if you're really good, you can manage your time and responsibility. This can lead to a happier and healthier workforce. Um, the uh, other aspect of this is basically it increases the flexibility for working from home, uh, where it can provide employees with increased flexibility as they're able to like work from home anywhere, anywhere practically with internet connection. So sometimes you don't have to work from home. You can actually work in another remote location. Let's say if you're in New York uh, and you want to go down to Florida, Go to Florida, work from Florida then. Um, and especially well to the point where like this is very beneficial to the point of if you have, as I was talking about, um, the aspects of increased productivity, but also cost savings is a little bit as well too, because you're not paying for the commuting cost. Uh, but you're also oh, saving a little bit of money maybe on childcare costs as well too, because sometimes working from home you can have your child there and you can take care of that child so you don't have to pay for child care for that nanny for whatever it may be um and for anyone that you know like as i said if you want to travel to like let's say florida if you're in new york and want to go to florida during the summer winter or anywhere for that matter it works out well as well too i mean i'll personally say this that from my personal experience i've gone back and forth between where i'm at and where my parents home going to work from there and now that when they needed help kind of gave me a stress it's less environment per se, where I didn't have to worry, or worry less environment per se, where I didn't have to worry about them if there were some things that were going on at that point. Um, now, there are negatives, but before I get to negatives, I do have to say this. Um, if you do enjoy my content, enjoy my videos, uh, and, uh, and enjoy watching my content, uh, or even if you don't like watching my content, enjoy watching my content, but want to watch my content still, Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, and also, um, please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read my comments. I need to respond to them when they weren't a response. Now, to the negative aspects of things, too, of working from home. One of the big things is isolation. Um, you don't get a chance to interact with your colleagues in person. Kind of can make it difficult to build a relationship and feel connected to the company. Um, sometimes you don't have that collaborative effort where, like, if you're all in one place, you don't really have that ability to know or brainstorm in a way that's really well. Sometimes you're based on one person, then you know, tr you try to collaborate online video, but it's like if you want to do a whiteboard or something like that, it's very hard to do. Um, and also at the same time, sorry, also at the same time, you don't have that ability to interact with a new employee and garner what they're like, where you don't know how to approach them. 
you have to be play bland. Like sometimes you know who's joking, who doesn't like a joke, who can take sarcasm, who can't take sarcasm, etc. Basically, you don't find that out uh, remotely. It's it's somewhat hard to do, but sometimes you can do it in meetings. But how often do you have meetings with these people and such? How how often do you interact with them uh, on a video basis? Uh, and then of course the other big aspect of which everyone believes is the one biggest negative is the distractions people believe because working from home you can be distracted uh, because you may be tempted to take breaks or do personal tasks which can lead to a decrease of productivity because some people from nine to five feel like you know what i'll take a break here and there blah and because of that, after five o'clock they're like all right i'm done and that's it when in reality, you've taken those personal breaks for on your own time, not the company time. So you still owe the company some time at that point, too. Um, but there can be cases where, let's put it this way, uh, it's not distractions, but if, like, if you can get your stuff done, great. Um, because one of the perspective is, is thinking about it this way, is with... Basically let's say working out um, you reset your mind reset your body whether it be meditation working out taking a walk for that matter exercising you can come back fresh and like come out approach a problem that you're having issues with early in the day and come back with a new approach at that point too so let's not forget that part and then the other added benefit of course you know without the structure or without the distraction part is lunchtime food uh, sometimes people would bring food uh, to work their own lunch but some you would have to reheat it up and everything like so it's sort of like leftovers in a ways or two if you go out you're not really eating healthy when you're going out a lot of the times so you're probably eating like unhealthy I, I mean there will be cases where you try to eat healthy, but then there will be cases where you're going to eat unhealthy. If you join people for their lunch and they want to eat something really unhealthy, you're going to join them. Uh, whereas if you're eating from home, you know, you're making the food fresh sometimes. Uh, at the same time, also, you're eating a little bit more healthy. you got a home-cooked meal, so, you know, you can't do it. Unless, of course, you want to do a DoorDash or Uber Eats. That's up to you. Um, but, again... You sort sort of save money at that point as well too with food as well too. Uh, now another one big negative from uh, working from home is basically it's the lack of structure. Um, it can be more difficult to manage where you're not f required to follow a set of a set schedule. So because of that, you can procrastinate. And miss deadlines, which brings back to the distractions part, which brings back to the lack of productivity at that point. And that's why I think people are starting to see that every now and then here, too. Because if you're missing deadlines, people are like, oh, you're being procrastinated because you're being distracted from home. And maybe you should be in the office at that point. That's where people are saying that. It's, sometimes it's hard to measure that or quantify it. But sometimes you can. If you're missing deadlines, then you can't quantify that. Uh, and then, of course, the biggest part... Of an issue is technology um, you know it can be more challenging if an employee does not have access to necessary technology or the experience technical problems you get frustration and decrease productivity like if your laptop or whatever machine craps out you don't have like support there to help you out in the office where you have to now like call them up or something like that or you have to figure it out on your own um, or two for that matter like you might have had a screen or three screens and the office now you have just your laptop so you have to work off of that sometimes and sometimes you have to buy it on your own um, now some people can say like working from home has its benefits and negatives but there are also negative benefits uh, between small companies versus large companies now, that's a big factor as well, too. I mean, for small companies um, and, and large companies, but mostly from small companies, working from home can help reduce the overhead costs. Uh, you're not required to provide office space for employees. Um, you can say this saves you money, the company money, and you're going to help them be more, a little bit more competitive. 
for large companies, you know, one of the benefits from working remote is can help improve employee morale and productivity. Uh, it can also help attract and retain top talent. Sometimes you want top talent if they need that flexibility to work from home. It, rather than leaving, you know, you can keep them at that point. And nowadays, people are looking for more jobs that are remote or flexible for the ability to work from home. Now, some might ask, why would some of these companies that you're hearing in the news want that? Why would they want them to come back, basically? Because despite the benefits of working from home, some companies still require the employees to require come back because culture. Some companies believe that it's important for companies to uh, for employees to be in the office to build relationships and create that sense of community. Uh, I could see that. Like I said, you know, like without that lack of interaction, you don't have that company culture. It's hard to define it at that point until you all meet up one day somewhere. There's also the collaboration part as well, too, where, you know, like it's easy for employees to collaborate and share ideas when they're in the same physical space versus, you know, doing it online. And then, of course, there's the training part. When you're a new employee or some form of aspects of training, sometimes you need to be in attendance for the training versus doing a virtual training. It's kind of hard to do in certain cases. And there is another big factor as well, too. Security is a big factor, um, you know, where you're working from home, you're on your home network, you're not within the company network. So you can be prone to attacks. If your home network is not secure, like company networks are, you can be prone to hacks and attacks uh, at that point as well too. And the other factor is like, sometimes you might leave your laptop unlocked or whatever it may be. And like, you know, other people might be ran or and sometimes wherever you're at, sometimes you'll have your laptop, let's say in a Starbucks, <laughs> it's on a public network. People can still view some of your stuff if you don't have it blocked off or locked off. And then, of course, the other biggest factor is for some of these companies that have bought out buildings or leased office space, they need to fill them. You can't just pay for empty space like the Googles, the Microsofts, the financial companies. They have all these buildings that they have, all this office space. Unless they could sublease them, they're paying for pretty much empty space. So they need people to come back for that reason. And that's why Facebook and I think Facebook, Google and Microsoft Apple are requiring the employees to come back. Like Apple, they built that giant office. And I think they want people to come back in so that they didn't waste money on that office campus. But ultimately now, like, it's the decision whether or not to employ employees to work from home is up to each individual company, of course. Uh, there are both pros and cons to working from home, and it's important to weigh these factors before making any decisions. Um, all I have to say is thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do read my comments as I said, and if you haven't subscribed, I ask that you just subscribe. Uh, with that, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next time.